that it kind of jumped into a mid screen, but you, are you feeling like sort of back to normal for you now? Or? I'm getting there. I mean, it takes it's a day by day process. So um, I'm on this like conditioning plan. I'm on this walkthroughs and all these. They're just trying to get me involved and just trying to get me back to where I was and even better than that than I was. So it's pretty good. How how have you adjusted to? Cause, well, first, what are you able to do as far as contact during the week? Is it none? Is it none. 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 How, how have you adjusted to be, getting ready for games when you can't do that? Um, it's all a mentality thing. So, like, you just got to make sure that you're on point game day and then you know that you're going to get into the game. So it's all a self-belief thing that you, you've done this before. You've had years under your belt. You've already shown what you can do. You just got to go out and do it. So every every Saturday I just tell myself that, and um, everything just comes to light after that. How big is this game just to kind of kick off the second half of the season for you guys? It's big. Um, every game is big to us, actually. So we just take it 1-0 every every week. So um, the next one is Indiana. And basically, we're just trying to beat ourselves. We're just It's us versus us. So if we do what we, what we can do and do what we usually do, everything's going to be fine. I guess the, the couple weeks you spent away from the field, I mean, what was that like on Saturday watching your teammates? You know, what, what were kind of the emotions going through your head there? I was super involved on the sideline. So I was like getting the checks too. I felt like I was still in the game. So I was on the sideline, like sitting down with them, getting checks. I was hyped when John got the pick. Well, I was, I was playing, but I was, I was hyped when John got the uh, strip, the strip, forced fumble. I, it just... It felt I was joyous with them, so I wasn't left out or anything. I mean, there was a hint of, like, I was sad that I'm not playing with them and getting involved with them, making the tackle with them, but I, I felt like I never skipped a beat. It stands out about this Indiana offense. They've had a lot of success so far. What what, what do you got to do well against them? They're a sneaky, good run def run team. So, like, I mean, everything is explosive with them. They have playmakers everywhere. Um, receivers, receiving core is pretty good. The running backs are really good, really good at pass pro. Um, quarterback knows how to read defenses really well. So, I mean, they can do anything. I give them mad respect because – I mean, there's nothing that really they can do, so we just got to go in there and do what we what we do best, and we'll see where we go from there. Their their uh, their offensive line is pretty good at selling the run hard, even when they don't run it. Um, as a, as a linebacker, who's pretty good in coverage. You and John both. What's maybe the challenge of making sure your eyes are right against against a team that that really fakes the run hard and then throws it behind? That's our preparation um, throughout the whole week. So like film study, awareness tape, looking at what they do on film and what they do in certain situations. So me and John and most of the linebackers go up by ourselves and we watch what we got to watch to, to be ready for that Saturday. So um, just looking at what we need to do and keep our eyes clean. You guys study together, or you kind of go off and do your own iPads. Both. So we study our, on our own, and then we also have linebacker designated times to uh, figure out what we need to do for that week. Javon, it's been eight years since Nebraska's beaten a top twenty-five team and, and been to a bowl game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been around the program for a long time. What would that mean to you personally to to knock out those streaks? Um, it means a lot to me, just because I mean we're trying to get this place back to where it was and back to on track and uh, put on a pedestal like it was back in the day. Um, so I think we're on the right track just by following the process and uh, and we're just in reach for what we what you what the fans want. But we want to achieve a lot more than what the fans want. What, what do you feel like you were able to infuse in, into this defense? I mean, missing the first four games and then coming back as a, as a key player. What 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 have you what have you added um, in these last two? Um, I added some. I think some joy, just because like it was my first two games in the season. I got football taken away from me. Um, I'm playing with a, a different type of like appreciation for the game now. So I'm flying around even when I'm tired, dead tired. Um, I'm flying around with a different type of speed than um, than I was, and I'm flying around with a different type of appreciation for the game. I mean, I bring obviously all the physical intangibles to the de the defense, and I think the defense appreciates that. But I'm flying around with a different type of spirit. So. Were you able to maintain your physicality, you know, your weight that you talked about over the offseason, putting on going into the season, everything other than, you know, the blood clot issue? Um, is everything else the same with you physically? Um, 
I kept most of my weight, yes. Yeah. So I was able to gain back some of the weight that I lost during those four weeks. I wasn't doing anything. I'm um, still progressing with my, my conditioning and my cardiovascular stuff. But um, other than that, I didn't, lose any, I didn't lose a step. I feel like I'm right where I was. Ty Robinson was asked about red zone defense, and he said basically it's a, they're not getting in mindset. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Uh, have you seen that grow, though, with the, this defense compared to others you've been on, just that the way you guys feel about that when you're out there in those spots? Uh, we just take a sense of pride in it. So like like what Ty said, we they're just not getting in at all. So uh, we just when, – when our back's against the wall, we just start throwing punches and we figure out what to do. Thanks, Jim. All right. Yeah. yeah.